Hi guys, Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury Channel, Paul Pluto Channel. Today we're doing paid reviews, paid reviews. Don't like that free shit, we always like to charge for reviews. And that's where I am here. Paid reviews, I'm doing a review. This here is for Dan. Dan the man, fuckers. Dan the man. Now before we do that, we'll just do a quick whist, 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 watch check, fuckers. I'm wearing the Breedling Super Ocean Heritage 2. That's right. That's what I'm wearing. It's elegant. No crown guard. Look at that, fuckers. Ceramic bezel. It's got the Tudor in-house movement. It's a stunner on the shark mesh. Shark mesh bracelet. Shark mesh, fuckers. Don't wear a... Don't take a toothpick to a gunfight, fuckers. If you got to swim with the sharks, wear the Milanese bracelet. Okay, we're doing a review here for Dan the Man. Dan the Man. Hi, Arts. Just sent you 25 via PayPal. Recently, Zenith has upped their game under Jean-Claude Bivier. 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 Oh, it's French, these fuckers. He says that Zenith tradition has had disconnected from the future. Uh, well, Jesus Christ, this guy here knows how to sprout the fucking truth there. Uh, I gotta be honest with you. Uh, I, I, um, I, um, I, I kind of, Zenith itself has been a very, very, very sleeper of a brand. And, and I, I, I know what you're saying. You're right there. You're right there. It's, it's been a, it's been an interesting thing. Recently, Zenith has upped their game. Uh... Under Claude Jean Biver, he says that Zenith tradition had disconnected from the future and is now leading their rebirth as a leader in movement technology with some co co collaboration from sister brand, from sister brand Tag Heuer and Hublot. Zenith has now come out with a lot of new high tech watches under the Defy line. These look similar to, Hub uh, to Hublot and many features in, uh, in, in many feature skeletonizing. The most affordable Defy Classic line is the one I'd be most interested in. What do you think of? What do you think of Zenith's new direction and does it change your opinion of the brand? Do you think it will be enough to restore Zenith's standing and make a comeback? The Defy zero g with gyro tourbillon the defy lab which is a super accurate friction free oil free the defy 21 relaunched relaunch of the classic el primero chronograph at 9900 us the defy classic similar to the iwc ingenua jp gp gerard perigay laurietto and piaget polo s price from Five nine to seven five US dollars. Yes, sirree. Uh, so that's a a very very interesting equation there indeed. Um, what do I think? What do I think indeed? And you know, I've I've often said Zenith was a great movement maker, but fuck, did they make some ugly watches? And um, to be completely frank and honest with you. Clive has a Defy, and I think that's one of the most ugly fucking turds I've ever seen. It's fucking, it's fucking brutal. Uh, what do I think of the brand? Well, I mean, Zenith was such a great brand. I can't believe it's really lingered along. But with uh, Claude, Jean-Claude Bivier, Bivier. Maybe it can come out of the abyss. And I got to tell you, they've got some great looking watches. They do. They do. The only thing is, Dan the man, I got to be completely frank with you. We're bargain shoppers, okay? I don't play retail pussy. Retail pussy. I don't play retail games. So for me, I honestly would say to you that it's going to take a while for these things to filter through to the used market. Would I be buying these things? Probably not. <coughs> I wouldn't be buying new. I've never said buy new, especially on a brand that has fucked it up so many damn times. So my advice would be stay, be careful. 
my friend Scotty. Scotty, he has the 1969 tri-coloured chronograph. I think, I think maybe he's got the open heart tri-coloured. But anyhow, they make some amazing stuff. I was thinking of actually adding a Zenith. But I got to be honest with you. They can be, you know, they, they fucked so many things up. They did so many things wrong. I wouldn't be taking a punt as a punter. I would be waiting for the rich fuckers to buy these things and for them to filter through. Now, that Defy you've sent me the image of, fuck that sexy. That is a very, very sexy watch, but I could buy so many things so cheap. You know, IWC, I'd get that in-house IWC that I've got. It's got the, the IWC. You know the one I've got. That's the one I'd get. The 3227, that's the one with the in-house movement. 42 and a half mil, big fucking tall bastard, which had anti-magnetic properties, you know? It was IWC's answer to the Milgauss. In fact, IWC came out with the anti-magnetic a year ahead of Rolex. So I got to tell you, I would be saying IWC, yes, you want to get secondhand bargains. I ain't here to pay fucking retail and take chances with these fuckers because you ain't there. You don't have enough money, son, to play these retail bullshit games. So Dan the Man, they have some very good things. I think there is a interesting future. Would I be putting my money into it? No fucking way. I would buy pre-owned. Zenith is not a brand you can buy <coughs> new. You must buy that brand pre-owned. It's like Breguet. You do that at your own peril. Sure, they give you very, very posh mineral water at Breguet. Yes, yes, sir. They, they're nice to you. Yes, 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 yes. But that fucking retail experience, it's for fucking jerks with no spine who want their assholes licked by sales assistants, and they, come on, that's not the way to play the game, you don't need to pay retail, and these brands here, you're going to wait for them to filter through, we don't buy on the first serve through, we buy the vomit that someone's shitted out after they've eaten it a few times, that's what we buy, these are too new. You're going to be paying close to retail. You're going to take a bet on these fucking losers going fucking circle jerk. I ain't taking fucking bets on Zenith. And the dealers won't give you much of a discount. That's, I reckon, come back in five years, then you buy one. After some rich, spoiled son of a bitch doesn't want it anymore. You can't make this grade for them. It's not for me or you to do. It's for foolish foolish people who pay retail and believe those stupid dealer comments. So, honestly, I get what you're saying, and maybe in five years' time it could come good, but it's not for us to put our consumer dollars and pay fucking retail. We don't do the retail thing. We don't. So, let some other fuckwit, let some other fuckwit buy these pieces, and after he's gone broke and he shits them out at... at uh, half price, <clears throat> that's when we buy them. We don't buy them on the first take. I don't see them being super, super strong. At best, you may not lose your fucking ass, but don't go anywhere near there. Let some rich cunt buy these things, and we'll come in after he sold it two or three times, and we can fucking get it at a discount. That's what I'd do. I would buy watches that are soft, not the... I wouldn't be paying retail to take a, a punt on Claude B, Claude, Jean Claude Biver. They, we don't fucking pay retail. Retail is for morons. Fucking fools. Fucking fools. Do you understand that? It's for fucking fools. So don't do that. We're not here to, to save the world and and sing about Jesus. No, we're here to get fucking good deals, and buying that brand new is a fucking stupid idea, Dan the Man. I'm sorry I'm not positive and singing Kumbaya, my man! Kumbaya! Kumbaya, my lord!
Kumbaya! Fuck off! Fuck off! I don't want to fucking sing Kumbaya for Jean-Claude Bivier. Eat your own fucking shit sandwich, Claude. That's what I say. Eat your own fucking shit sandwich. I don't buy retail and I wouldn't be buying this retail now. Give it five years and come back and see me and we'll buy it from some fucking spoiled yuppie who can't, who's getting his Beamer repossessed and he sells it urgently. That's what we do. We're bottom feeders. It hasn't come down to our level. So my advice is, yes, looks promising. I quite like that, that Defy you sent me. It looks fucking really cool. But I wouldn't be using my fucking money to circle jerk these turds. So I got to tell you, no, don't buy yet. Wait. Wait for some other fuckwit to take the fall. There's a lot safer buys than Zenith. Zenith, oh. So that's my advice. I'm the pontiff. I'm the guru. I'm the one who calls the fucking shots. You listen to me or you buy this fucking shit, you're going to lose your ass. That's my advice. I'm Archie Luxury. Remember, like, subscribe, tell your fuckhead friends. Tell your fuckhead friends and don't forget, put a few really nasty comments down below, fuckers.